I am sharing my screen. Please confirm once you are able to see the screen. Yeah, I've already shared now. I'm in the PPT HTML tab. So it is a table that's what we are going to see. Yesterday, you might have gone through CSS. In CSS, you might have understood the style itself is a CSS. Style is an attribute. That attribute is a CSS. Uh, class is actually the data coming from the CSS name that you give. You call it as uh, style as a tag name. So you might have noticed the style as a tag name. Inside that style, if I take it here, so this style as a tag name, this style inside the tile, whatever the name you give, this name is what you will use it in the thing. There are different ways you can give. Class means dot, you will start with the dot. Uh, ash, if you started with ash, it is ID. If you don't give anything like this, if you give like this, it is for the entire uh, tag itself. The tag name itself will act as a, uh, a CSS candidate. So this CSS will get applied to this table. So in that way. So these are all you might have seen yesterday, right? Uh, any questions on that, please let me know before I proceed with uh, today's uh, table session. Please let me know if you have any questions on that, on what we have seen yesterday. Any questions there? If not, we'll proceed further. We'll go with the table structure. Okay, so we start with the table structure. So the table, as I said, uh, I'm just going back to the table. Table, we'll see every table, any table is nothing but a structure. There is a rows, there is a columns. That's what we call it as a table. Every table is having a header. Let us take a CSV file, Excel sheet. Excel sheet is a classic example of the table. You have a rows and columns. In Excel sheet, it is everything is predefined, whereas everything you have to define it here. That is the difference. Whereas in Excel sheet, everything is predefined. We don't have too much worry about that. Second, every table you can apply a grid. That is in Excel sheet, you will say apply grid means you will see that grid with each column and rows or you don't have. That is what here we call it as a borders. Borders is an attribute in the table. There is a default attribute available as borders. That borders goes from 1 to uh, 6 or 1 to 7. I'm not sure it is 1 to 6. So you can do that in tables. Column span, row span, it is equivalent to merging of a column in Excel sheet. I hope you are all familiar with Excel sheet or any type of grid kind of a structure. So column and row span is about merging rows and columns in the Excel sheet. Then alternate rows, if you want to, there is a CSS special attribute called Lth column, Nth row. Uh, there are some uh, marketing going at the outside. So please bear with me the noise. It will go shortly because we are in the dead end now. So it will go shortly. So understanding the alternate, there is a special uh, type in the CSS. We call it as Nth child or Nth column. Uh, that we will use here for alternate row shading, etc. We don't have to worry about defining for that particular row, that particular background color or whatever. That also we will see it here. So today we will address the entire table structure. In our today's uh, session, I have given in the PowerPoint, given almost all the details here for you to help uh, as a reference. So I have given it how the basic structure of a table, always table starts with rows and column. TD is column, TR is row. Header, there is a specific attribute called TH. So TR is row, TD is for column. Within row, how many columns? TH is for headers. Then you have style sheet, how to apply the style sheet. You can, I have shown, I told you about the border that also I have given it here. 
border is an attribute available as well and the rows and columns and some sample here then we have a column grouping so some of all these are given it as part of the powerpoint now we are not worried about powerpoint we'll go to the actual css creation html so i'll go to the new i save this file first is i start with doc type doc type html i close that tag uh, that is how we start the html uh, please remember don't use cut and paste as far as possible when you are dealing with new learnings you always type always do even though it is repeated you have done n number of times but repeat 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 so that is very important for you to uh, make sure you are comfortable then only interviews can be cleared without any problem otherwise if you do cut and paste more you may know the subject but basics will not be strong if basics are not strong it is very difficult to uh, say that how effective you are it is very difficult to say basics has to be very strong for basics to be strong you need to write 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 there is no shortcut there is no cut and paste will not help you okay so now i am going with the table structure i'll go with simple table as a word table it doesn't have any meaning it only indicates that whatever you are going to code below it is going to follow that structure of the table without table i cannot define a row i cannot define a row this row will not have any impact if i don't classify the table tag if i don't put the table tag above this tr this tr doesn't have a meaning this is what i want you to practice you need to when you practice you need to do it without table with the table how the difference comes with the table and without table how the classes are getting applied whether it is what are you define it in the table is it applying to the tr, TR level is it applying to that uh, td level so many combinations you need to do taking class is the easiest thing i can say but practice and understanding the subject to the core is very very difficult because we have only one week's time for the basic html the next week i am supposed to start uh, the another topics like javascript logics and other stuff so i will not come back to the html then for another 2 3 weeks i will not come back to html until i come to the angular material so one hour of session or 40 minutes of session you need to practice minimum 3 to 4 hours then only you will get a grip of that particular subject right so please plan accordingly so that you have that uh, intact so first is i go with th uh, th as i said it is for header Uh, header i call it as say head 1 it's a column th is a column this is a column 2 i'll take three columns header 3 so i have three columns header 1 header 2 header 3 table structure inside that i created a tr tr is nothing but table row table row always has to follow by table without table class tr will not have any impact i now go with td class another row second row i now go with td 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 is nothing but column they are not given tc they have given td i don't know why they have given td but it is column 1 column 2 column 3 column 2 column 3 when you practice you should say header as three headers you create only two columns in one row another column another three columns in another row four columns in another row like so all these combinations plan plan have a plan apply your thought and make sure you practice well right so i just uh, save it save this file 
I think I'm saving it in a different place. I'll just go there, upscale. This is where I'm staying, saving all my data. Uh, it's uh, class four, I think. Class four HTML one dot HTML. I'll try to save it in this way. So you have a class two, class three, HTML, class four, save it here. So now the structure is done. Doc type, that is the starting point. Uh, HTML, it can be HTML, it can be XML, it can be anything. Uh, this HTML structure itself is equivalent to XML structure. Okay. That is how it is all started with. Now I apply it through browser. Class for HTML, right click. Open with Chrome browser. You can use Chrome, any browser for that matter. You can see now header one, header two, header three, no border, anything specified. Right? If I just I expand this one for your understanding purpose, I'll just put style. Style with 100%. You should be familiar with syntax, right? Style is an attribute. Attribute always goes with the name value pair. So name is uh, a style equals value is width. And if you have multiple values, you are uh, spl splitting the value with a semicolon. So I use the word 100%. Now I'll just re republish the page. You can see now, header, header always goes in center and you can see a header is bold. Automatically it is treated as a bold. Column one, column two, column three are in the left aligned. Default is left aligned. Column one is left aligned, column two is left aligned, column three is left aligned. I want the column also to be centered. There are two ways I can do. One, I can do it at the TD level. TD level, I want to make sure that align center. I'm just done for one column. One column and make a spelling mistake here and see how it works in, C in HTML. So I made one column. You can see now the column to column three will remain in so because I have made it for td alone this td is independent this td is independent if i try to do this like this style inside the style i give now td as a global level curly braces curly braces classes are always defined with curly braces uh, TD, I've given already TD, align, a center. I'm not sure align is part of that or not. Let us see. Let us see. I think I have to give text align if I'm right. Let us see. Let's save it because align is a direct attribute. So it doesn't have any impact. I just give text align, text align, save, you can see now. Now, since I applied it under CD, under TD as a global style, you can see all the, I don't have to now specify for individual row, individual column. It has applied for all column because it is at the global level style. That is the purpose of the style sheet. This is, I think this is called internal style sheet. Right? For every HTML, this style sheet is applicable. If I have a global style sheet, I think yesterday they have taken it with external CSS. That is, you link it. Once you link it, it is applied for all HTMLs, provided that link is added. In all the HTMLs. See, as of now, are you clear with? Please. Raise your hand. Hmm. 
See, I am not going to answer any question towards enrollment, registration, certificate because it's a pure waste of time. For me, I am here to teach HTML. I will try my best to give you the best. Okay. Non model and portal, please don't go worry about. Please go ahead with uh, learn uh, Open Mentor and start working on that. Okay. Please note down MCQ is from tomorrow, 11, 11 a.m. There is an MCQ. Please ensure that you present yourself, you make yourself available and attend that particular session. Okay. Now, um, as I just I no questions on this as of now the table, so I am proceeding further. Uh, so table, we have seen how to apply the TD, how to apply the uh, align. When it, when it is aligned, it is a direct attribute. Uh, in our C, uh, CSS or a style sheet, it is text aligned. Text aligned center, you can show, make sure it is aligned. Within table, the style width 100% will make you to see the entire style uh, from the beginning to end. Now, I do one more thing. I'll, I copy this table again. I'll make it as another thing. I remove this style. Instead, I just put align and I make it as center. So this align center, you just see the difference between the above and the below. And I add one more call border. Border equal to one. Order equal to one. I'm align. I'm making it another statement. I make now two rows. I make now two rows. It is R1, C1, R1, C2, R2, R1, C1. Okay, R1, C3. This is R2, C1, R2, C2, R2. C3. I just made two rows, one header. I just save it and I publish it. You can see the difference now between the top one and the bottom one. The bottom one width, if you notice, the bottom one width is all close to each other. And you can see there is one outer box, there is one inner box. One outer box for the entire table and there is one inner box for every row and column. Every row and column, there is one inner box. I want to collapse this. So that is what I can give it at the table level. Table, everything. It is for table, table, th, td. For all level, I use the word Then I don't use this border. This border will not have a much of an impact. I'll put it again, copy one more. Okay, I am copying one more. I'm removing the border here. But I'm going to specify at the table level. Border. Border always goes with minimum three parameters. One is what is the pixel? Whether it is a solid or dotted, what is the color you want to give? I say I just say black. This is the color I want to give. Second is border collapse. Right? Collapsed. So this is my two table. I've given it for table. That means this attribute, wherever the table is, that is applicable. Uh, then th, uh, th is already there. That is the row header. Second, it is applicable to column. I made it as td. Apart from that, td is a centering. These two I am done. Save it and go with refresh. You can see now. The top one, what I have aligned with border, that also got changed. So this border will not have any impact now because it is overruled by what I have given it over here. So this doesn't have any impact. And then header two. 
now i want to make a uniform like uh, the gap between the top table bottom table and below table i want to have a gap that also you can do it that is for what level it is at the table level so i can give additional one more table here one more table i give it at margin top the top margin i want to give uh, in a, if you are really a, you want to become a professional in terms of html etc uh, there is a concept called uh, multiplication factors like uh, the gap and all when you give a gap you either you there are multiplies of 8 multiplies of 4 multiplies of 12 right there are some standards to be followed so you generally we, we in our place we generally follow a uh, 8 pixel standard so that means we will not give 4 pixel anywhere minimum 8 pixel multiplies of 8 8 means 16 will not give suddenly somewhere 10 pixel will not give somewhere suddenly 12 pixel if it is a proper html design then the gap has to be proportional that proportional has to be multiplies of one number whether you can go with mobile device means 4 pixel is okay if it is web application minimum 8 pixel multiplies of 8 pixel 8 16 24 like that then the i the when you view the html it will have a much higher impact uh that the other ways you some places sometimes people will give 12 pixel some places they will give 13 pixel there will not be any uniformity that is not acceptable in industry standard i leave it to you then how you design it but is there any problem no problem you can design it in the way you want so i given now 16 pixel as a top margin you can see now once you start giving the gap you can see the look and feel of the same thing that we see before without a gap and see with the gap you can see now the same way in this column header within this column i want to leave a space i want to leave a space so again that is called so it is within column so every td i want to, this is of the td center so i can use that you can use padding padding then i have a four attributes top side bottom left hand side so all equal generally in this case because it is a horizontal text is more that is width is more height is less so height i can give it as a uh, multiplication of four pixel space or uh, 16 pixel side gap that means top and bottom 4 pixel left and right and right hand side 16 pixel if it is uniform save it now you can see how it looks like see the bet where you give a uh, space legibility will be more but if i give here if i give it like uh, 16 pixel here padding padding 16 pixel this look may not be good look may not be good because of the nature of that particular card is all about so you can see now internal there are more space top you don't have a good space you can see this column doesn't looks good right so there should be a proportion that proportion is maintained with the multiplication factor we in our in the internal things we go with four multiplication 4 8 16 etc if it is mobile device we will touch up on four like tables we touch up on four or otherwise it will be 8 16 24 etc when you give like that spacing the look and feel will be great you can you don't have to much worry on that look and feel legibility of the character as well as the spacing it all will be good so that is all the important part this is from the web design perspective i am not talking about learning perspective but web design and you are to design a proper thing this is how you go with so now you can see the the difference between the collapse and non collapse 
if I don't want the collapse to applicable for the entire table, then I remove this. I think I have to put it under individual table. You can try it, all those options when you are practicing. So now, as of now, are you clear with? Please respond. Your response is very critical. So table data, what is I, uh, TD? TD is for division, uh, table division. That is nothing but a column. Can I, know, can I know size of one column? No, it is automatically adjusted according to the width of the column. I'll put it another way. Here, uh, heading is big, right? Head one is big. If I put it down, uh, that is the advantage of table. Okay. You can see here, head one is big. It has adjusted the column width only for that particular thing. For all the columns, he has adjusted automatically. One of the column, I say, uh, my column width is more than other two columns. So if you do like this, just imagine what will happen. So if I refresh, you can see now. So head one, head two has automatically realigned. Once you reach the boundary, it will automatically do the word wrapping within that. He will automatically adjust as you increase the columns. That is the advantage of table. That is why it is very good thing from the layout perspective. From the lay of course, in layout, we learn about flex and all. Layout, I'm planning to take on Monday. Layout is very, very important subject because we use the HTML5 concept, flex concept. Table is the older concept. Table is a older, it is available from the old HTML. The flex is the new concept that is coming. Grid, flex, etc. That's a new HTML concept. Okay, so you can see now the column width is automatically adjusted. If you want to ensure you want to have the uniform column width, you can decide that as well. Right? That, has, that is nothing but you can say TD here, uh, TD where the TD is. I just say width uh, colon 33%. Right? 33%. I'll just say 33%. Uh, then if you just refresh it, you can see now. This is how it will look like because it is divided that into 33 percent. Because it is three columns, I'm using 33 percent. More the columns, you need to accordingly divide if you want equal column width. Default is by you can see that top one, I have not done anything because I just made it as 100, it automatically made it into equal width. That is the system taken care of. Right? So any other questions? I'll let me just go through the questions. Uh, can I know size of one column that I have answered? As of now, we have learned some basic needs from website. Then why don't we create a website using you? Please do it. Uh, that is what I want you. I want you to practice. I am not here to teach you website design. I am not here to teach you that. That is your uh, inner, uh, what do you call, ideas. I am giving you basic components now. Please go ahead and do it. Uh, some of the things that if I want to show you, this is another side. This is a different design. This is also an HTML. This is also an engine because purely an image. This entire thing is image perspective. This is another client project. You can see that. Right? So it is a purely an image concept. A table concept, if you want to see, this is your uh, I think it is an admin interested sector. This is one type of layout. This is called card layout. Right? So admin module, if I go to bugs, your grid. This is a grid layout. So this is your grid layout. You can see icons there. You can see columns there. Everything is possible. Anyway, no. Limps, link for MCQ will be given in Open Mentor. Yes, that's our answer given. How do we get the link? You will get an email as well as you will get the property in uh, Open Mentor also. Why column and column to align left side and table head align? 
the th property is always like that th property is by default it is center aligned header by default td is the left aligned Uh, property sets where table border should collapse into single border or be separated as in standard HTML. Pro whether table border should collapse, it is all up to you. Some people look and feel, they feel internal table, that means remove the collapse. Some people will like that as well. Can everyone of us will be able to access the link from Open Center? Yes, please. Whether you are coming from non mudalvan or direct people, everybody will have access. Border collapses, I just explained it. Uh, without border collapse, I just show it once. Uh, commenting, I can do it within the TS file. I can do the commenting with slash star and star slash. This is within that particular column, particular row, I'm commenting. This also is fine. Commenting, go there, go here, HTML. You can see the uh, without collapse. This also some people likes it. So it is pure. This All these are human beings. Some days you like this, some days you like without that. TD means table data. Yes, you can say table data. That's a pro proper way. Yes. TD means table data already answered. Collapse is already done. Uh, MCQ is all about all the three sessions, all the water we have learnt in this week. Water we have learnt in this week, it will be part of the MCQ. Uh, right, according, including that OIS class, all the evening, whoever is attended respectively, you will get all that session. Okay, so as of now, I hope you are clear. Uh, any other questions? If you don't have, uh, please raise your hand if you are clear with. Okay, good. Now we are moving into another important topic. So now what we have done is, as per the PowerPoint is we have done the basic. We have done the table, how to give the global uh, parameterization that is at the table level, TH level, TD level. And we have given the simple border how to do. Now we are going with row span and column span. Very important topic from the uh, understanding perspective okay if i i what i'll do is i'll just save this file i'll take one more file or i can add below that is okay i can add below that is of course that is the reason i have taken three columns and three rows so that easy to now i want to have these two headers is wrapped i just open an excel sheet for your understanding Excel sheet. I'm just. Uh, I hope you'll you'll be saying the Excel sheet as well. So in Excel sheet, it is like this. I merge these two rows. Merge, merge center. I say my title here, and then column two, uh, header two, and then I have a val one, so col column one, column one again, column two. This I'm just trying to make it in column three. This is the way where the title is merged, columns are independent. So that how to do it. I'm just going to show it the last table that I copied. I don't want two tables. One column I remove, but I need to tell them call span. How many columns? Two columns. I want to span it across in header. Please remember it is for header. For header, I want to do column span. So header one, and two, header one and two merged. Right? This is the this is what it means. Column span. If I save this. Save this, apply it. I request, I'm again repeating, please practice. 
columns when head one and head two merged. Head three, you can see alignment also. You can see column one, column two, the remaining rows. It's all proper. It's all properly taken care of. Right? It has merged column one and column two. There is the another possibility that I want to merge two rows. I want to merge two rows. So it is not a column span. I just put the header back. In the last thing, I'll put the header back. Now I'm interested in merging two rows. Right? This row and this row I want to merge. That is called row span. Not in the header level. Header is only one row. So it is of no meaning to us. So only here I want to, I'll do it at the third thing. I want to merge second row, third row. I want to merge column one. I want to merge. So row span equals two. Remove one row from here. Remove one row from here, one column. Oh, sorry. Row span, let us see how it works. So, row span 2. I just stay here, save it. Do it. You can see here. Row 1, column 1, row 2, column 2 is missing now. You can see here, it has got shifted because this should not be there. This should not be there. Then only you will have a proper alignment. You can see now, row 1. It is merged. Row 2, column 2, row 3, column 3. Because you are merging it, row 1, column 2, sorry, column 1 doesn't have a meaning. Row 2, column 1 doesn't have a meaning. So this is your column span. This is your row span. Another row, you want to have all the three columns, you can have it. Another row, you don't, you want all the three columns, you can have it. you can design in the way you want. That is why this is very useful from the layout perspective. So you can design in the way you want. Previously, everything was maintained with the table only. Layout is maintained with the table. Now the same thing, it is now they call it as a grid, flex, etc. That is what we are going to learn. Might be on Monday, we will learn all those. The flex and grid will give more flexibility in terms of managing this uh, grouping, everything. The last one is I want to just group the column. Grouping is the column is generally done for highlighting or uh, uh, all those stuff. So basically it is done for highlighting. I'll take uh, one here. That is the, as per my PowerPoint, that is my uh, next topic. It is column grouping. So column grouping, style sheet, forget it. Uh, ah, this one I forgot. Okay, I'll forget this. This also I'll finish it in the uh, previous uh, thing. I'll finish the uh, row separation. Row separation for a better clarity. I'll take this column. I want alternate rows, right? I want alternate rows to be uh, so-called a different color. Alternate rows to be in different colors. So that is, I want it in the row TR because I want it in the row level. For nth child, even child, give this background. Nth child, that means you go up to nth child. TR colon nth child, even child, you change it. So that is what it means. It is applicable because I am doing it for TR, it is applicable for all. So it is applicable for all, you can see now. Alternate, it will come as an alternate. Right? Alternate row, it is changes its color. If you can want to put it as odd, you can put it as odd. 
If I don't have to change it for every TD or alternate TD manually, I don't have to change it. I can change it in this way. So somebody likes with the column, you can go with odd even, or even somebody wants it in even, they can go it with even. So that is the another. This is also available. So this is again uh, from the perspective of all classic example of the effectiveness of the CSS. I can first row, I can remove, I can remove nth row, I can remove odd, even. Lot of combinations are possible with nth, nth child. Right? Nth child, lot of possibilities are there. So learn, learn this concept, this very, very useful concept from the perspective of web design. Okay? So it is, nth, it is also applicable for div, it is also applicable for everything. So that is how it is. Now, the last one is column group. With that, I will end today's session. So column group is basically what we need is, we are grouping the column to specify the background color or etc. It will not work for, uh, assume that you want to do it for font size and all, it will not work. It will only work for background color or some universal a thing that you want to do, background image, you can change all that, it is possible. So I'll go back to notepad. I'll one more thing I'll open before I just open, I copy paste this. Table, I use the table and I use this column group on the top. So table, I just added this column group, style, background, right? I just added that and close that uh, column group also. That is on the first tag, column is on internal. This is first, this is indent is internal. Column group, internal column span to two columns. I am doing a background color, I am changing just see how it looks. Now you can see here. Oh, and because of that border, you are not able to see there is a collapse. I'll remove this. I remove this nth child background because it's all uses the same color. What I'll do is I'll, for time being, I use this commenting. I use this for commenting. So I go back, save it, execute it. Oh, still not applicable. One second. I did a some mistake on the, I'll just column group, column span two. Uh, TR. Oh, okay. I have come to notepad. Yeah, table. Uh, column group is there, table is there, TR is there. Column group has to be within table. Please see the mistakes that we generally do. It has to be within table. Right? It has to be within table. But unfortunately, I did it above the table. So I'll take realign it. There is one extra table here. I'll remove that. So table, column, table, closing. Yes, perfect. Let me see. Now you can see the last two columns are blocked. It is like freezing the columns. So that is grouping of the columns. Right. So make sure you practice all this and there are a lot of combinations possible. Practice well. Uh, I leave it at this now. I tell my team to take over. They will support you in terms of practice. Uh, Rajesh, you can cut the uh, uh, recording, Rajesh.